Animation tip time. It's more of a Maya workflow tip, but it, yeah. All right, so I'm working on this shot here of um, this character grabbing a weapon. And I really wanted to get this feeling of connection with sword. So there. And I managed to do this without any constraints or anything. It's just, um, it's just a smart use of layers. So this is what it looks like with the layer active. And this is what it looks like with the layer deactivated. So as you can see, it really removes the feel with the layer off and then with the layer on. Like it really helps that sense of connection. So to show you what's happening here, first of all, there are no constraints at all. The hand when the hand comes down, it's not constrained to the sword. And when the sword leaves, the controls just both move together. So I didn't want to jump between using different constraints because I find them a bit restricting sometimes. And there's just a lot to manage and time, you know, and you have to turn one constraint off and one constraint off and then you get stuck in a constraint nightmare. But instead, I took the main control here, which is the control of the weapon. And I also took, so when the hand connects, so there on frame 469, I've taken both the weapon control and I've taken the hand control and I've duplicated those controls and duplicated and rotated them around um, a pivot point, which is kind of like relative to the weapon. So when I say relative to weapon, I've basically moved the pivot point of the group for these controls here. Um, it's basically rotating from this point here, which is where I would expect the sword to rotate from. So it's really in the right place. So after moving the controls here and rotating them into the right position, um, these are now going to be the reference position for both the hand and the sword control. So I took these two controls and added into this new layer, which you can see here, and in layer one. So this is an additive layer and it just has a couple of keys. The first key is the neutral key where nothing happens. The next key here is where I've snapped those two controls. So you can see the controls are snapped now. And then the next one is a neutral key again. So this is exactly going back to what the animation was before. So I've got a neutral key, I've got the one key where the controls are matched, and then I've got another neutral key again there. So it's working, but it's a little bit too much though. So one of the great things about layers is I can adjust the weight of it. So if I go down here into weighting, let's just set this to uh, 0.5. You can see as I'm adjusting the slider here that the position is changing. So if I go to like 0.5 ish, there we go. Now if I play this back, okay, so it's a lot less. So I still think it's a bit too much. So actually I'm going to drop this down to like 0.2 something. Just a little something like that. So okay, like okay, that's cool. So yeah, it both both the controls, like the hand and the weapon, are still staying totally aligned. And it's just done really simply on a single layer like that. No constraints needed. And that's it. That's simple. Try it out. Let me know if it worked for you. Um, if you had a better way of doing it, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. So until next time, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.